So here we are, um, mid-November, in the Peru State Forest, and this is the beginning of our moose habitat field trip. So I'm standing on the edge with my dog Clementine of an area that was salvage logged about 15 or 16 years ago. This had been a predominantly Norway spruce plantation that was beginning to uh, die back from disease and state uh, DCR came in and removed most of the Norway spruce and some of the surrounding hardwoods in a long narrow strip along a forest road so you can see maybe kind of see back in there is an old stone wall that kind of marks the boundary of where the cut was in a mature forest beyond and this cut was maybe um, a couple hundred meters wide off of the road right in front of us though is the first example of some moose sign that I wanted to show. This is a tree that was rubbed up this year. It's a yellow birch that was growing out in the middle of this open area that's mostly raspberry, blackberry, raspberry, and goldenrod. Um, in the background is a lot of beech regeneration and more birch. And there's a few large trees that were left, these big white pine but mostly it was uh, a pretty intensive salvage operation to remove all that disease Norway spruce and um, create young forest conditions here and the moose loved it so for a while this was the only patch of young forest in this block of in these thousands of acres of state forest so it was about a 15 acre cut uh, all together and it was a magnet for moose and so in the years shortly after it was harvested and was beginning to regenerate uh, it was one of the places I could reliably come and see either moose or moose sign uh, whenever I wanted to. Um, and the moose browsing re, um, stunted the regeneration for a number of years. Uh, finally, some of these trees have begun to get out of moose browsing height, uh, but others are still being uh, hit pretty hard by the moose, as we'll see as we walk along. But this is an area, this tree was rubbed by the moose's antlers this fall. And so it be, would have been better to have people out here with me, but this is, if you can see, I'm reaching as, as high as I can. So it's about seven and a half feet off of the ground. He's just rubbed this bark, broken this branch, and there's a little bit more evidence of rubs that we'll see perhaps as we walk along. Here's some evidence of browsing on this aspen. So this aspen is seven, seven and a half feet tall, uh, but it's been continuously browsed off by moose as they walk through this patch. All right, here's an old skid road. You can kind of make out running along the back edge of this cut area. And so the moose walk these travelways just like people will uh, for ease of transport or ease of, mo ease of movement through the landscape and then they will stop and browse any palatable species that are within reach as they're walking these roads. So again, this aspen has been repeatedly browsed and you can kind of tell it's a little bit stunted from that browsing. It's kind of capped off there at seven and a half feet or so. And there's others growing here like it. 